hello everyone thank you for tuning in again to our channel and we will still continue hope you've been doing well and just want to remind you to remember that your hands are blessed and we can always pray because god loves hearing from you god loves to hear your prayers as well remember god wants you well and i will be continuing on some of the stories about being well because this is what god wants for you and for your brothers and for your sister and for your mom and for your dad and for everyone so today we'll still look at something from the bible and the last time i remember we talked about the little girl that was dying who's, who was jarius's daughter and she was made well even more at the point where she almost died and she died Jesus was still able to bring her back to life. Today, I will be looking at how Jesus healed a man that was having some disabilities in the mind. The man was a mad man. He went mad. He was troubled by some demons. I don't know if you've heard of demons before. They are messengers of Satan. And the devil uses them to destroy people's life, to cause problems in people's life and but jesus have power over demons so when you remember we said jesus is no longer here but what has he done he has given us the power of jesus christ and that is in the name of jesus so anytime you want to call jesus into something just say in the name of jesus and then your prayer will be as though jesus was the one praying so we'll go back into that and but before I continue, remember to please like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have not done so before, we love having people comment or like or telling us um, what they feel about our videos. God bless you as you do that. So today I will read from Mark chapter 5 from the Bible. Still, but this time it's going to be from verse 1. So that's the beginning of Mark chapter 5. And there also Jesus was still in the, across the Sea of Galilee. He went in a boat. And there, when Jesus got out of the boat with his friend, because some of Jesus' disciples, then a man controlled by an evil spirit came from the tombs to meet Jesus. So that's what happened. So this man was possessed he, he had some evil spirit tormenting him and then the evil spirit came after him and the man has always lived in the tomb the tomb is where you have dead people it was very difficult to leave the man with people because he was so mad he was really very how do i describe it the man was not normal he was out of control in his mind he, he, his mind was controlled by evil spirit so he couldn't speak by himself he would say things that are not of god he would say things that are very very evil and demonic and then he, he, people tried to get a hold of him the man would run away nobody could could hold him nobody could they even tried to tie him down but he would break the chains and still move on to do what he wants so he would just go back to the thomas so he couldn't live in the house he would not live in the house or sleep where people were and every night and day sometimes you see the man screaming yeah, ah, yeah! and he would scream sometimes sometimes he caught himself up he was really mad he was not well and he needed help as well his parents tried they couldn't help him remember last time we say sometimes you try your parents will try and when they can help they seek help sometimes they may need to take you to the doctor so in this case this man also was unwell so they took him tried to tie him down before they could get him to help him he break the chain and went back to the tomb he will scream sometimes he make a lot of noise cut himself off so he has so many cuts around his body that he did by himself but it was because he was out of his mind he didn't know what he was doing but good for him that day when jesus came the man ran to jesus as well he needed help and when he saw jesus coming 
he ran to him and fell on his knee in front of him and he shouted at the top of the voice and he says Jesus but before he could beg the evil spirit within him spoke up and said son of the most high God what do you want with me promise me that you won't hurt me that wasn't the man speaking it was the evil spirit in him that was speaking through the man's mouth and that was because Jesus saw the man coming and Jesus said come out of this man you evil spirit then Jesus asked the evil spirit he said what is your name and the spirit said my name is legion because there are many of us so legion means many and then he begged Jesus again and again he said please don't send us out of this area we want to stay in the city yeah but good for them as they were pleading for Jesus to send the evil spirit out but they don't want to leave the city they begged and there was a large herd of pigs coming around nearby to feed on the grass and then they begged Jesus please Jesus send us among the pigs let's go with the pigs and let us go into them and Jesus said yes come out of the man and you are free to go and they went the 2,000 pigs that were in the city already feeding on the grass at that time and the whole pigs jumped and they ran and ran and they just didn't know what was wrong with them the pigs could not be controlled and the owners of the pigs and the dogs were trying to stop the pigs but they went crazy too and the crazy pigs ran all of them into the lake which is like a pool of big water and they drowned because they couldn't swim so that is how jesus delivered the man and healed the sick and crazy man and now the man was made well everybody in the city heard about this do you know that crazy man that goes to sleep in the tomb? He is now back to his mind. He is a good man now. He's well. And everybody heard all the people were afraid of Jesus. They couldn't believe it. But then people told about the pigs as well. But Jesus had made this man well. And the man was so glad. He, what do you think the man would do? The man's parents, the man, they all came and thanked Jesus. They were so happy because Jesus made their son to be well. The man was well again. God restored his crazy mind. And the man wanted to follow Jesus everywhere. But Jesus said, yes, just believe and thank God. And tell people, go back home to your people. And tell your friends. Tell your people, anyone you meet, about what God has done for you. Let them know how kind God has been to you. So the man went away, giving glory to God. And everyone in the city that he met, the man would tell, he began to tell how much Jesus has done for him and for his family. And everybody was amazed. They were surprised happy for the man so that's the end of the story hope you're blessed when you receive a blessing and you thank god as well when god has done something good for you and how kind god has been to you do you remember to tell your friends do you remember to tell about god's kindness to people around you yes it's a good thing because when you do you help them see how god has been kind to them as well god is kind to everyone god is good to everyone whether you believe or you do not believe. So be happy, be bold to speak about God's goodness in your family. Be bold to tell your friends about how good and kind the God you serve is. God bless you. Hope you've been blessed. Please remember to like or share and I hope to see you another time.
God bless you. Bye.